one of the things I wrote for Australia um, was a thing called the duck build platypus. And um, it's a very good advice, I think, if you're working, if you're a comedian and you work abroad, to write something for them about their country. Because people don't like it if you turn up with the same old stuff you do everywhere else. They really love it if you write something for them. Mm. And I wrote them the duck bill platypus, which, um, can I do it? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to ask me, you could just ask them to be fair. Well, okay, it goes like this. And people really liked it because it was about Australia and about something particularly Australian. The duck-billed platypus, small aquatic friend, made from the pieces God had over at the end. <laughs> According to his reckoning, he'd not been wrong before. He hadn't made enough. He needed one mammal more. So he looked in all the corners of his cupboard, large and bare, a little foot here and a little nose there, a scrap of fur, a feather, nothing anyone would miss. And God said, oh, good God, yes, what can I make out of this? There was a funny flat tail and a great enormous beak which had lain in the cupboard for a year and a week. Four webbed feet in the manner of a duck and hanging on the peg a furry overcoat for luck. Well, the turn of the platypus came to be fitted. God sat him down and he honestly admitted that the Finnish platypus might appear a little odd, but look on the bright side of it, said God. You can swim in the river, you can paddle in the creek, you can tackle anybody with a great big beak. There's a tail for a rudder or alternatively legs, and by way of consolation, you've got babies and eggs. So... <laughs> God took all the pieces into workshop one, and there he told the men the kind of thing he wanted done. The carpenter and plumber stroked the platypus's neck and said, well, don't upset him, he can't run, but he can peck. <laughs> so the platypus was made and his beak was firmly rooted, and God found him a home where he would not be persecuted. They wrapped him up and sent him with his tail neatly furled in a brown paper parcel marked Australia, the world. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, Thank you're you welcome. Very much. It's, it's, it's very important, I think, if you are performing in somebody else's country, to include something you've written specially for them, because it mm. really is appreciated.